Hey there guys, what is up? My name is Regarth and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a new piece of software I discovered called Action. So let's get started. Action is basically a recording software that works very very similarly to Fraps although it has some really really cool improvements. So let's go over a few of those things. First off, as you can see over here, we have a few different recording modes that Fraps doesn't really offer. So, first, uh, over here on the left, we have, uh, as you can see, there's a game controller. So that's that's game and applications. And anything that uses DirectX or OpenGL will be able to re be recorded by this. Uh, secondly, we have a desktop. And thirdly, we have a screen region recorder, which is something that Fraps does not offer at all. Basically, it allows you to uh, click on it, drag across your screen to select a region, and you can record that area. Another thing that this offers is uh, AVI or MP4 recording, and you can set your, um, your output video size before you actually record your video. So if you wanted to uh, play your game, whatever you're doing, or if you wanted to show your screen, and you wanted your screen resolution to remain in 1080p where it was, but you wanted your video recording to be in 480p. Let's say you just don't have very good internet, so you want your file size to be a little bit smaller, but you don't want to actually have to change your desktop resolution. You can do that here. You can select um, one of these five different uh, resolutions, or you can choose original if you have something higher or something that you don't have listed here. Original basically means it selects whatever you're actually using on your screen or whatever it's recording and uses that resolution for the video. Another thing we have is frame rate, although this is something offered in Fraps as well. Um, now here's another cool thing. It's a duration. You can set the duration of your video recording to be whatever you want it to be so it'll automatically turn off after a certain period of time. I don't really know what you would use this for, but if you have some reason to want to do that, then uh, this would be the software for you. Um, so that's pretty much uh, all for the first screen you see except for uh, I did actually forget to go over this so as you can see over here it shows you thumbnails of all the videos you recorded which is another thing that Fraps does not do as well you can also change the names of your videos here with the thumbnail so that's kind of a handy feature if you uh, want to choose to name your videos or do whatever with them before you actually touch them um, here's another cool feature. I'll just go over this really quick. As you can see, you can uh, delete files here. You can open the folder. You can export selected files. You can export selected files to video. Uh, you can, uh, uh, excuse me. You can export selected files to Facebook, as you can see from the Facebook symbol there. Or you can do to export selected files to YouTube. Now this is super handy right here. This is the one that I'll be using. So any of you guys out there who use Fraps currently and um, you get a little bit aggravated with the whole, uh, you know, routine of recording your Fraps videos, editing your Fraps videos, compressing your Fraps videos, and then uploading your Fraps videos. This software puts all those steps in one. It makes your life a lot more simple. So, let's go ahead and select this video again and click this tab so we can check this out. So as you can see here, you have a uh, a few different options. So you can see. Um, this is a previous recording which I kind of messed up on a little bit. I w watched it again and it was just it was just a little bit too ADD for my liking. It was like 15 minutes long when it only needed to be 5. Anyway, so as you can see it shows the name of the video. You can choose um, a bunch of different options for different kinds of recordings you want to do. I currently have YouTube HD selected because that's what I want to use. You have a bunch of different settings for um, your output file type. So you can choose to do um, you know like a lower resolution and have it be a fast rendering or a high quality rendering or a normal rendering. So you have a bunch of these. I choose high because you know I want it to look nice. You have your video bit rate. This basically changes your video quality. Um, you can go up and down. Um, as you can see the file size if you choose like the lowest bit rate will be very small although the video will be not worth even watching. It'll be so bad looking. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back up to uh, I think it was a 12. Close enough. As you can see here, you can also choose audio tracks. Um, I don't really, I've not used this before, I don't know what it does. You can also choose audio output, which uh, is defaulted to stereo. I can't actually change that at the moment. And you can also go to next, and here is where you can actually choose to have your videos be uploaded 
automatically. Now this is really cool for those people who don't like to go through all the steps. If you just want to record a video, if you do something really basic and you just like putting out 20 videos every day, then this would be fantastic for you, especially if you're doing stupid little things or whatever. If you just don't want to go through the YouTube uploading process, which can be kind of a pain in the butt, I've done it many times, then you can do it here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's go on to the next features. So let's go over here. As you can see, I'll just cover these very briefly. You have streaming capabilities with this uh, software. I've not done it yet, so I don't know how well it works. You have audio recording, audio only. You have benchmarking, you have screen capture, and then you have your settings tab. So all these things are offered in Fraps except for the live and the uh, the audio re audio specific recording. Actually, I don't really know. I've never tried to record audio specific with Fraps, but uh, I don't think it can. So let's move on to the general settings. As you can see here, we have just a few settings for the application itself. Right to the next tab, we have our video recording settings. So you can set your video quality to high, uh, normal, low. I'm just gonna actually go ahead and put this on high. Um, you can have your input range. I don't actually know what this is, so if you guys want to figure out what this is, you'll have to look it up yourself. Multicore rendering, that is for uh, multicore recording. I'm sorry, it's not rendering, it's recording. It's for um, using multicore CPUs for recording capabilities to improve your recording quality and uh, your recording speed. You can record your mouse cursor, visualize mouse clicks. Um, I imagine what this will do is when you click your mouse, you'll have a little circle up here, like a little radar around your mouse. Um, you could also have graphical settings. I, you know, I've not messed with this. Um, I imagine it's something like a. Uh, you can put um, uh, overlays over your video, and you can position them like this. Uh, this would probably be for like your logo. If you wanted to put like, you know, your channel's logo on your video, you could actually do that, kind of like a watermark. So let's move over here. You have webcam settings. So this is really really cool. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what this does. So let's go ahead and um, well, it doesn't actually allow me to change. Oh, here we go. So uh, let's say I want my webcam to be on my video. So let's say I'm recording a reaction video for Happy Wheels. Um, this is fantastic for that. It's perfect. It allows you to do it without any sort of complications. I know a lot of people do a lot of complicated things to get their their webcam in their video, and this puts it all in one step. You don't have to do anything. So all you do is select your webcam you want to use. I currently have a Microsoft Life Cam, and uh, you select where you want it to use, where you want it to be on the screen, as you can see over here, and then you select the size you want it to be. So let's say I want it to be really small, like I don't, I don't want my webcam to be very intrusive in my video, so I just do that. I do top left, so I want it to be in the top left, and as you can see, there I am. You guys can see me right now. Hi guys, and um, that's. That's basically that. So you can add your webcam. So this is really fantastic for that. You have your microphone and audio settings. These are pretty general. Um, a good good thing to note for this is that the audio is separated from your Windows audio. So when you have your Windows micro uh, under Windows and you have your microphone settings and your audio settings done, this will actually um, be independent of that. It won't take those into account. Over here we have the different HUD settings, and finally we have the export settings. Now this is really cool because it has uh, some really nice features down here. So you can tell it to remember your password for something like YouTube, or not to remember it if you feel like you uh, might have security issues with that, if, especially if you have a bigger channel than mine. Um, also down here, um, you can automatically split videos, which is really cool if you're recording an entire game. Let's say you like to do stuff like I do, and you sit down and you record two hours of gameplay. and you don't really like to come back in after the matter and kind of split your videos and try to choose where the 15 minute mark is or whatever. If you don't like doing that, this is really cool. You can actually choose to uh, set your video size to be a specific limit. And um, over here you have your uh, hotkey settings so you can change your, if you want to change your like record, record video key to something else. I personally use this I personally use delete in mine because when I'm recording uh, Minecraft videos, um, there's actually a mod that uses the F9 key already, so I, I changed that to delete because, uh, you know, it, it would interfere with the mod. And so, yeah, that really covers everything there is to know about this. Uh, it's a fantastic piece of software. I, if you're currently using Fraps, I kind of recommend you switch over to this. 
Um, as you can see from, I think it is right here, there's a watermark because I'm using a trial version. This, this software also offers a one month free trial, but I believe I'm gonna go ahead and buy it and uh, start using this as my permanent video recording source. So, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope to see you next time and uh, hope to be uploading more videos. So, uh, yeah, have a good day guys.